Hi guys, this is Jason here from Nathaniel and uh, here are 10 suggestions which or tips which I have for musicians during this time of the the coronavirus which is hitting everyone and just forcing us all to stay home and be isolated. But um, there's a lot you can do with technology, with uh, social media to, 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 to keep working hard as an artist and also touching lives as well, touching the fans of music who will continue to love music. And at this time, more than ever, it's important to get things out there and uh, get people to uh, to unwind and uh, <clears throat> take their minds off what's going on as well, right? So here are 10, I would say 10 into 5 tips for, um, for, for all you musicians out there. Try to set up something in your home to record music. Something like a bedroom studio. Assemble a basic set of gear like a microphone. You can get a dynamic microphone like an SM57 for about 6,000 bucks Indian rupees. Uh, get a cable or a couple of them. Uh, a DAW for recording. Um, try a free one like Reaper. Because you don't have to spend much. Reaper is a very good software and can do the job for you. Um, and a couple of affordable or free virtual instruments that will also help you going if you use MIDI, right? Um, all of you would have a lot of musical ideas, right, in your head. Uh, seeds, as I call them. Something which you would have recorded on the phone, a voice memo app, um, or basically anything. I mean, you would have some thoughts running through you, right? Uh, use the studio in your bedroom which is now where you're going to set it up to just sort of plant and grow these seeds so record them even if it's not professional just record them keep them and hear them back it can really inspire you and uh, to learn recording and to just get into production if you're new try rearranging a cover that can really help. You could uh, take any song you like and if you have a couple of bandmates, work with them, right? You could send them what we call as stems, which are basically each individual track as a mono or a stereo or MIDI. You could send it to your uh, musician friends or bandmates and work together. It, it's a lot of fun, right? And uh, try to learn a few things about production. I'm sure you, you perhaps play an instrument like the piano, guitar, or you sing. Uh, try and learn a little bit about production because uh, in this time, you, you really need to learn technology. I think that will really help you moving forward. So learn how to record, learn a bit of MIDI, le um, perhaps learn how to optimize your stage rig right this could be a good time to get that going your processors your your tech basically right learn a bit of looping uh, and of course maybe a little bit of mixing effects and stuff like that right and you always have youtube and a lot of other online resources to help you learn further right so that's about a studio what i call a bedroom studio now right point number two be adventurous and collaborate right everyone's at home uh, use the internet so reach out to all the musician friends you know in the country or globally just touch base with them you know ask them how they're doing what they're working on and um, get get them to work on some of your music if you have originals or some some track you want to work on and also offer to work on theirs i'm sure uh, it's a great time to collaborate right uh, don't brand yourself as just an instrumentalist or a singer, you know, think outside the box. You could find people in other industries which you have not really worked with, like theater, maybe ads, short films, radio, and so on and so forth. And uh, this may be a good time to think of something new and fresh that you could contribute to the field, right? And it's all free, Just it's just your mind working, so get that pumping. In order to work with people and collaborate during this time, try to set up a few technical aspects around you like uh, you'll have to learn maybe a video conferencing tool like Skype or Zoom. Try to learn that well. Um, get get to know a few music apps, which uh, a lot of which are there on phones. Like 
for example music memos if you have an app like that on an iphone well which is uh, f- pretty much free use that and learn how to use it it's quite an in- uh, inspiring singer songwriter tool you may also uh, download few things like a metronome a few loops practice tracks things like that right cloud storage very very important if you're working on music if you're recording collaborating uh perhaps you want to bump up your google drive subscription or dropbox something like that and anything else which will help you work with people remotely basically right point number 3 i think you should try to rediscover yourself by going back to your roots right play some of the songs which have inf- inspired you you know during your formative years especially when we were kids we we tended to learn a lot faster and take in a lot more information so whatever you liked uh, listening to it it you could have been part of a choir so get back to that uh, choral music or uh, you may have played another instrument growing up possibly right go back and start playing that okay uh figure out why you loved all those songs right um figure out what made all those songs inspire you that's a great learning path right most of all those artists or bands have made you who you are today so try to go back to these artists and ultimately those have formed your strengths as a guitar player or as a musician in general so try to focus on those strengths as you practice okay um try to also rearrange some of those songs right try to not play it exactly as it is you could try rearranging it and uh, go back to some of the old workflows the old ways in which you used to you know arrange and discover music right and another tip now uh, use all your favorite bands so if you liked let's say metallica try to find artists similar to metallica try to listen to them and since you already had a way you you already sort of digest metallica's music you already know how to play their riffs you know a bit of how they think you can also widen your uh, you know growth by trying to find new artists which are fairly similar to whichever artist you you've been inspired by growing up right point number 4 time to practice right you're all in your homes you don't have much to do i guess uh, you're not gigging that often or probably not gigging at all so yeah practice it's it's something we all need to do as musicians so um focus on all your strengths make all your strengths stronger and convert those weaknesses which you you know have always been worried about now is the time to just enjoy practicing and convert all those weaknesses into strengths you might want to prepare like a very organized practice regiment during this time like give yourself maybe 6 days to practice take a day off for whatever chilling with the family or watching netflix or whatever you like doing i mean basically one day off from music it also helps and that allows you to really maximize those 6 days which you put in right and when you're practicing music try to make a list of all the aspects of music music theory ear training focusing on rhythm or timing improving your improvisation growing your repertoire right uh, practicing how to read music sight reading uh, working on backing tracks uh, or anything else which you sought out to do and probably didn't have a lot of time earlier right and uh, yeah uh, by practicing music getting back to that whole regiment of doing that uh, you also kind of remember how 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 fun it is to play your instrument in the first place you're not playing it because of a goal or anything you're just playing it because you love playing it and you just love that um, that 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 thrill or that rush which it gives you right of uh, Uh, it's sort of like playing a sport in some ways you you play a a game and you sweat it out but i mean that's fun isn't it okay um and yeah use youtube um make a list of all your online resources which you could benefit uh from and uh, focus on subjects that interest you and start practicing them right point number 5 discover your own sound try to focus on your own music 
just compose just try and see how that works right maybe you've been doing a lot of covers some commercial stuff well you can't do that now so just compose make music it's a lot of fun isn't it right uh yeah and keep writing you know when uh, when the world goes back to normal i'm sure you'll have a lot of new refreshing stuff which you could start gigging with uh, uh when when everything returns back to normal so be patient that that's uh, very important at this time if you're doing a cover try to learn from the cover and try to put your own stamp on the cover you're trying to do very very important right and uh, don't focus entirely on you know riding the wave don't look at emulating people focus on what you like to do focus on what made you who you are focus on your strengths right and uh, yeah just do that and um, try to try to go against some of the usual musical norms right improvise go out of your comfort zone and just enjoy the music you play uh, the including the bum notes as well right point 6 unearth your unreleased works of art so with all your gigs and touring you might have forgotten all the awesome songs you wrote and you know have never released wake them up very very important right and maybe make folders in your computer divide your content as recorded but unmixed slash mastered you not sent it to that final hurdle um maybe it's like a scratch idea but then it's not produced maybe uh, get, get to producing it or produced but just uh, not yet released maybe it's just waiting uh, or it's unreleased because there's no video music video so what just release it in uh, Uh, let people hear it and enjoy uh or maybe it's just residing on your voice memos app just find all that name it and uh, <clears throat> and start um, g- getting it out there right and give yourself maybe a tough goal like something to give give you a good distraction and push you at the same time an ep or maybe even a full length album if you if you can collaborate with your friends and get it done right check all your prehistoric emails um some of your old hard drives forgotten uh, cloud folders and you never know there might be some forgotten ideas there which you could start bringing out right and um, uh, you need to really respect the music or rather your music you need to respect it and don't judge it based on how popular it it will get it doesn't matter uh, especially at this time so just get it out there uh, streaming platforms are still working so get it out there now work on it all the best right point number 7 teach and share so with all the gigging um, a lot of musicians depend on gigging right for pretty much your main source of income so you might want to consider teaching to help pay those bills and sort out all your overheads so make a list of all your musical skills whatever you can offer and prepare like a basic resume <clears throat> pretty much for yourself and then share that with people and um now with teaching you'll have to do it online you can't do any classes in person obviously so set up a i mean i'm sure you have an internet connection but just uh, maybe a right time to get two internet connections if one if one fails so uh, see if that's possible um learn a few softwares which will help you teach uh, video editing softwares as well because ultimately you're going to shoot a video like this and then you have to put it into an app and uh, do some basic editing right um learn skype or zoom which will help you to uh, broadcast or conference with your students also learn a daw for audio touch ups uh you might want to learn a little bit of camera uh or if your phone camera works well and good and also some accessories which you might need for all this like cables um anything anything to just help uh, organize everything and tighten things up for your classes the eighth suggestion i have is to seek fan support right we as mus- musicians are very passionate about serving the community at large so we we generally pitch in so it's not wrong to ask for help during these times from your fans or followers 
right offer your fans something cool and unique if possible like your merchandise some artwork right a private uh, skype uh, or a online conf- uh, gig or something right um or anything else you have to offer besides your gigs which you anyway are going to do soon right try to grow your existing fan base maybe through some of your loyal followers who can help you bring in more people into your community and uh, release a ton of music at this time i think this is the time for recordings to increase more right because gigs have stopped so <clears throat> release some music and ask people to support you uh, put it out on streaming platforms yes but you can also use uh, tools like patreon which is a website which where you can request your fans to support you right for the work you do so give them music and uh, as request some loyal fans to support you i'm sure that works out for so many people right and this is also the possibly the time to work together so find similar artists maybe who have the same musical vibe as you and uh, develop some nice creative content which you could uh, share and engage with with your mutual followers or fans right point number 9 use social media really well now some of us old school musicians myself included prefer to stay away from all this stuff but now you need it more than ever there's no option so post regular content consider going live on uh, instagram facebook youtube as well right and why not do some online gigs just uh, get out your guitar and just play and sing i i see a lot of uh, But my bandmates and friends doing that i think it's a very good practice to to keep sharing music right even if you're just playing the guitar and singing it really helps people to unwind and other music fans to just enjoy and not keep thinking of the news you know and all this other stuff right yeah online gigs a lot of famous artists are already doing this like i i saw john mayer i saw b- quite a few artists so so get that done and study a little bit about social media um especially if you're an old school musician and uh, yeah just study about it a bit figure out how to uh, approach the entire ecosystem okay the the world is always a better place through music right so do not stop sharing right that will definitely inspire people it will also touch a lot of lives so do not stop playing your music if you play the guitar just keep playing it and sharing it right so social media is the only tool right now which can help us do all this right so the final point will be to pretty much stay positive right uh n- not musically related of course but uh, but very important uh, one thing i have been doing f- recently is just sweating it out doing some kind of exercise uh be it going for runs walks uh, you know uh, as far as it is permitted cycling or any other solo activities of course uh you can also do a lot of things at home like workouts or yoga if that works for you and uh, exercising i think just makes everything positive you you sort of clear your mind and can just tackle the day as though it's a new day focus on some of your other talents as well uh, you may be a musician uh, as i'm sure but what about some art which you used to do get back to theater get back to writing tech cooking uh well i i think i'm going to learn cooking from my mom now at this time that could work a uh, chess or anything anything you'd like to do which you which you were damn good at earlier right so don't forget all that just because you are an awesome musician right use the downtime you have to touch base obviously online uh, with old friends colleagues family learn about the world in general try to uh, not distance yourself from the happenings around you and the world at large and uh, finally yeah uh, like all of us take care of all your loved ones be very aware of everything which is going on react promptly to all the changes around you and stay strong cheers and i will catch you soon